Hey YouTube, what's up? It's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can SSH into your device via USB. Now, I've already made a video on how you can do this with Wi Fi with WinSCP, but say you don't have Wi Fi in your house, it can be a big problem. So, I'm going to show you how you can SSH completely the same or even better, maybe, using USB. So, you will need a jailbroken iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad to get the full uh, file system during the SSHing with USB. And we're going to have to go into City, of course. And we're going to wait for it to load up. Alright, and when City uh, loads up, all you want to do is go into the search, and you're going to type in AFC. And that's all you need to type in AFC to add. That's the package you need to install. Click install in the top right, and then click confirm. And it'll probably ask you to respring your springboard. And once you're all set, you can go to your computer and download the software we need to SSH via USB. And you want to go to the link in the description. Uh, as you can see here, it's i-funbox.com. And this is the software we need to SSH via USB. And this actually has, and this actually has a lot of great um, uses to it. As you can see, if you lose the music on your hard drive on your computer, it actually um, guides you through not just like one SCP where you have to kind of blindly do it. It kind of guides you through how to get the music back onto your device. Of course, it has a whole file system. It's actually really fast. And uh, yeah, guys. Also, another thing is usually when you see the system files, like the PNG images, you can't directly see them, and when you move them to your computer, you have to convert them. With iFunbox, as soon as you move them to your computer, they're automatically converted. But anyways, uh, that's just some advantages to using iFunbox. All you need to do is click Download. It's uh, I think it's only for Windows. You're going to go onto your desktop and save it. It's a zip file. I'm going to click Yes. I think I already have that there. And here's that zip file right here, iFunbox. All you need to do is right click and click extract here. And you'll have this file iFunbox.exe right here. And this is the software. It's a portable executable. There's nothing to install. So just click on it. Make sure your device is connected via USB. And this is what the software looks like. The reason I'm doing this video is because I might be using iFunbox for later videos when I SSH because it's just quicker and easier for you guys. So all you need to do is just click on your device here. And you have iBooks, Recovery Music, General Storage, and Voice Memos, and all these other stuff to access media on your device. And then, of course, when you SSH, the one you want is Raw File System. And here's the root folder. If you go to VAR, we have our regular uh, stash folder. And this is where our themes and applications are. And to go back, all we do is click go up one level. And we have mobile. We all have our uh, downloads and stuff like that. All of this great stuff. And yeah, it's the same thing as WinSCP, except it has some added functions. The only thing is you might not be able to like run terminal commands and stuff like that. But that's really only for advanced users or when you want to do specific things. So, hope you guys like this video. Um, I hope it's found useful to you guys. If it did uh, help you guys out, please give me a thumbs up down there in the bottom left. And, of course, comment down below on what you find between WinSCP or CyberDuck, if you use that for a Mac, and uh, iFunbox. And, of course, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already for all kinds of iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad videos. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.